Here we go. I need my phone. Yeah, good idea. All right, it's going on any second. Let's make sure we're there. All right, we're good. All right, good morning, everybody. How are we all doing today? Um, got some fun stuff to talk about today. I uh, got a good friend of mine. I've known for a lot of years now. Along with me, uh, really excited to talk to uh, talk to Jason. Jason, how you doing, buddy? Good, nice. How are you? I'm doing wicked awesome as always. So I'm going to give you. I'm going to toot your horn for a few minutes, Jason. So this is actually going to. There's a lot here. I, um, heck, when I read all this, I didn't realize that that you had done all this stuff. So it's pretty amazing. So you started in 2005 with Remax, and you were with the same Remax for all 15 years, right? I, I left once and, and then came back. Okay. Okay. Uh, born in Florida, raised on the Space Coast, so you're a local boy. Uh, your father, I know, I've known your father for years, uh, a great guy. Um, uh, obviously, you have you probably achieved every award you could at, at REMAX. You're a police officer. I mean, is there really anything you haven't done in your 36 years of life? Uh, yeah, it's crazy. So Leadership Academy of Real Estate, which is awesome. I love the Leadership Academy. Uh, been on all the committees, MLS committee, professional standards. Uh, military relocation certified, uh, Remax is 100% club, the executive club, platinum club. Uh, am I leaving anything out? I mean, there's so much here that you've done. Uh, and then finally, you joined EXP in when did you join? November of last year. Yeah, of last year. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, are looking at EXP and, and trying to figure out, you know, why why people join EXP and why people like yourself. I mean, you're $20 million producers, 75 units a year, roughly, right? Um, you know, why are people like yourself making the move over? So you and I had talked literally for almost three years <laughs> before you finally said, I'm willing to listen, right? Because the first time you, we talked, but, you know, we've been friends for a lot of years, but, you know, it's EXP, it's EXP, and then all of a sudden you, you opened your brain up. And so what was that thought process going on um, to help you open up your mind to actually look at other options versus just saying no to say no? So that, that's a good question. When you when you first approached, when EXP first became known in the in, in the industry and, and seemed to be a new kid on the block, kind of kind of brokerage. Um, the the assumption was it was a fly by night brokerage, just started up. It's getting some transaction or some some traction, but will never last, right? I mean, when you're working for probably the biggest name in, in real estate being Remax, um, it, it's just hard to get your your mindset around changing to a new company. Um, I, I was comfortable where I was at. I was doing very well. Um, it wasn't it wasn't need really to take a risk at that time. Uh, in hindsight, I wish I would have joined three years ago when you when, when we first had these conversations. Uh, there's what really made me kind of look at EXP more before we had additional conversations was I'm not the smartest guy in the world, you know, I can play one on TV, but uh, I'm good at what I do. I feel I'm pretty good at what I do. Um, but there's there's others out there that certainly are better, bigger powerhouse teams, um, you know, doing 10 times the, the transactions I'm doing around the country that you follow throughout the years in your real estate mentors um, and just just really smart individuals. And when you start seeing those people, your mentors that you follow throughout your real estate career, making the change to EXP you can only see so many of those successful people making the switch before you start wondering why you're not doing the same thing. If that makes sense. Yeah. It makes total sense. And not, not, not that you're not successful. And I, I was just going to say that. I'm like, well, what about me? Am I chicken liver? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> no. And, and it's true. You know, one, one of the things that when we switched over to tropical realty, you know, it'll be four years in June, which blows my mind. Uh, it was the riskiest business decision I've ever made in my life. Uh, at the time, there were 2,800 agents, and now we're, uh, I think we just passed 46,000. I read somewhere we had over 4,000 agents join last month, wow. which is crazy. So, uh, so you, you know, so, but what was the, the final kiss? So you saw all these people joining. Obviously, I kept in touch with you over time, you know, every couple of months just to say, hey. And what was the final thing that made you kind of say, all right, it's time? Um, well, I, I was... I think I think just the business model in general. I think people people associate EXP as a as a uh, multi level marketing company or or a um, 
a, a scheme kind of company. That's how they're branded by, by other brokerages. Right. Uh, and you can't blame them. I mean, there's the EXP is the fastest growing real estate company in the world. Um, I have an article right here addressing who EXP is in, in, in the, in the world of real estate. And they're associated as being the Amazon of real estate cloud-based brokers. They have a 99.9% .9 revenue growth rate from quarter three of 2019 to quarter three of 2020. Zillow has 11% growth rate. Redfin has a 0.7% growth rate. So there's the business model works. Okay. And you don't have to do every aspect of it. So I don't know if we're going to get into how the business model here right now or, or what's going on specifically with, with the different aspects of, of, of earning income, but I sell real estate. I feel like I'm very good at it. And yeah. if you sit down and take five minutes and look at the business model, all you have to do is sell real estate and you're still going to walk away with more than you would with any other brokerage, period. Well, let's talk about that for a second. So you joined in, was it November? It was November, right? Yeah. So uh, you capped, what, two months? Two months. And, and you've earned a, a ton of stock already? Yes. Yep. Right. So I've, and, I've three max for X amount of years right. when I left and when you leave. Um, again, we're independent contractors. There's, there's, you, know, you, you can leave and go whenever you want, but there was no lasting income or no lasting benefits after, after leaving Remax. Um, right. any, of the, any of the brokers for that point, no, not, not specifically Remax. EXP is so unique in the, in the fact that you're right, in two months, I've now reached 100% cap and I have about $12,000 in stock in two months. And 100% is a true 100%. Correct. And I'm 100%. Right. Exactly. Um, um, Never, never achieve at Remax. Just based on the model. again, not a bad brokerage. No, you guys pay, but uh, but they just no other brokerage can offer what EXP does. I have people asking me all the time, you know, and I say to me all the time, and, and you you did. I mean, you were one of those people saying, you know, no, I'm just really happy with my my brokerage. I was, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you know, one of the things you and I had talked about a little earlier, part of the decision process making was. Yeah, you know, you're getting married now. I'm married to Jordan, who's awesome. Um, and and you know maybe kids in the future. I might sound like your dad there, uh, <laughs> but um, were those those were all factors in in possibly influencing your decision to look beyond beyond just selling houses because selling houses is great, but you're unemployed the day you stop selling houses. Right. Yeah, you'd be very savvy with your money and uh, and, and and be a good saver to to have some kind of retirement afterwards. So EXP gives. The, the model showed me that I can stop selling real estate eventually and still have a form of income or still have benefits that I can pull from uh, after I retire or so forth. And if anything, you know, God forbid happened to me, uh, you're right. Now that I was getting married, um, Jordan would be protected and taken care of as well. And my son. Right. Right. Yeah, that's right. You, you do have a child. And that's, that was, you know, that was my main reason for switching to and giving up my brokerage, which was again, a big, big thing to do. But it was really my family. And, and, and when it comes down to us, don't we all just do what we do for our families? Sure. I, mean, I mean, I work for my family and my granddaughter with her rare disease, you know, my wife to make sure she could retire, which she has now. And if something happens to me now, if I had my broke, when I had my brokerage, if I dropped dead during my owning my brokerage, my family got nothing. Now I know that my family's taken care of for the long term because of this move. And, and that's one of the things, you know, I have people tell me all the time, you know, it's a pyramid scheme or it's a network marketing model. You know, and I always say, well, you know, KW is the same model, except they're on profit share, we're on revenue share. Uh, but I also, if you look at all types of brokerages, uh, and I'll even, I'll use Remax as an example, you know, they all are international companies, and then they sell territories, and then they sell franchises, and then they hire team leaders and managers and recruiters, and then they bring on agents. And when an agent has a sale, everybody gets paid. Right. There's no difference. We just chose to reward our agents for introducing people to the company versus hiring people to do that. Well, I, th I think I think there's one one big distinction that that uh, that needs to be made when 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 you consider MLM marketing or or you know whatever you want to compare EXP or, or as as they've been demonized by a lot of these other brokerages, so to speak. Um, and, and you can't blame them because EXP is not going anywhere. They're adding four thousand. You said last month four thousand agents uh, a month. They're they're going to be the next, the next leader in real estate, the fastest growing. They're going to, they're going to take over. It's not, it, there's no question about it, mm -hmm. but 
I think what people hone in on is the fact is that one aspect of of revenue income, the revenue share, right? So I think that's what somebody, what most people hone in and, and, and assume it's just an ML, MLM network or whatever it is. That that doesn't even cross my mind. I had no play in it when I joined EXP. The only thing that I was concerned about was selling real estate, which I'm going to continue to do. And then the benefits you receive as a byproduct of just selling real estate, right? I don't have to recruit anybody. I don't have to get anybody on my team, ha have you come and join me to be more successful than I would have been at any other brokerage. Right. And, so, you know, it, it is too, because one of the, the misnomers out there is that, you know, we're, we're a recruiting company, right? Well, every real estate brokerage, technically, agents, that's yeah. their business, right? We just choose to reward our agents for doing that. And the reality is, like you said, nobody has to do that. You don't have to, the majority of our agents don't. Majority of our agents are really happy just, uh, you know, getting their stock, which is, you know, obviously uh, one of the things that people used to say, well, you're just a penny stock. Well, I don't know, $65 after we just split it, I don't think we're a penny stock anymore. Uh, and, and so we, we encourage you to sell real estate. We want you selling houses. Let's interrupt for just a second. I apologize, Mitch, which it's kind of sickening when you think about it, because I think we did the math of if I had joined when it was a penny stock, at nine dollars a share, or whenever, whatever it was at that point, um, based on, on on my production and and the and the and, and the benefits, the stock and sims I would have received, what, the the amount I left on the table, it just you know I haven't eaten breakfast yet, but I, I it makes me sick to my stomach, you know, to think about how much I left on the table joining. So it's not going anywhere, you know, it's just going to continue to go up. So I really wish I would have done this three years ago. Right. Yeah. Well, and you know, I had the same conversation with my wife recently because. If I did it when I first heard about it in 2015, when there were only 400 agents in the country or 500 agents in the country, I can't even tell you, we probably would be on this phone call. I'd be somewhere in some island with a, <laughs> with a golf club. Sure. Sure. Right. Um, so let's talk about the um, experience since you've joined. We already talked about the money part. Let's talk about the other thing that a lot of people say, well, you know, there's, there's no broker, which of course there is a broker. Uh, there's multiple brokers in the state of Florida. And, um, and there's no support. So let's talk about that aspect, what you've experienced since you started. Oh, is, it, is, that, a, is that a common assumption that there's no broker? I, I haven't heard that. Yeah, yeah, com uh, no broker. Um, I just had that conversation with the bill yesterday. Well, you guys don't know what you're doing because you have no broker. I'm like, uh, okay. Um, and then, and then uh, yeah, so talk about that a little bit. You're, mainly on the support. I think that's probably the other thing is there's no support, but obviously I wanted you to share your experience with support since you've joined. So Jordan and I joined in, in, in November. Um, like you said, I've already I've already reached my cap status. And I'm at 100% um, commission for the year and working towards an icon. I think I have 14 transactions left before I become an icon agent, which is the next stock incentive that, that you receive. Um, again, all based on selling real estate. But uh, I, I probably, to be completely honest with you, Mitch, I, I, I probably have your emails and pats and, and 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 the supporting staff at exp on silent when i'm working throughout the day because it, it it's it's so abundant not in a bad way just that obviously there's there's a whole world literally a virtual world of support um and i have the phone number for andrew shock his support staff which is our broker in, in florida um i can reach out to any of them i reached i had a question the other day uh, regarding uh regarding a transaction just a nuance in the transaction and I must have received six follow-ups from different people, making sure that that was that was handled timely. There's been no delay um, as far as pay at the tables go or as CDAs go. Uh, receiving those, they, they are they're at least a week in advance, uh, sending those out, making sure you get paid at the table. They want to take care of care of the agent. So I've seen I've seen nothing but uh, but wonderful follow-up and, and support systems. You know, if you need it, if you're a new agent, they have. You can tell me more than more than anybody else. I, I don't know the exact number, but there's so many training programs, so many free training seminars and programs and steps and and uh, and scripts and whatever you want, whatever you need to use to to, to get you going. Yeah. Um, I haven't explored it too often because I've been again busy selling real estate, but but <laughs> it's non, it, it's really an endless stream of of support. Absolutely. Yeah, that's great. And uh, yeah, from, from a training standpoint, you know, for new agents or uh, even even experienced agents, we have everything from you know a whole mentor program to get you rolling, a whole course curriculum to make you successful right from the get go, 
And, but then you look into some of our, our video training and some of our, our listing presentation training. There's so much training. It's 50 hours a week of training. Uh, I actually teach a class every other week in there. I love it. It's fun. Uh, so one, one last thing before we get off. So, you know, we don't like to be on for all day because I mean, you have about 20 homes to sell today, right? Um, tell me what, you know, as a, not even just a Remax, but just as an agent outside of EXP, what were the things that you kept hearing about that now that you've joined and been here for a few months, you've realized were completely just misdirection? Um, well, I, I can tell you what my, what's, what's shifted in my mind a, a after joining based on the business model, uh, the brokerage model itself was, you know, being in the business since 2005, the market was super hot then too. So, you know, can put on the yard and be gone in a week. Right. So since, since that time, the, the two brokerages I've, I've worked at before then, it's been more of a, uh, of a dog eat dog world in real estate, so to speak. Right. So, you know, this is what I'm doing. Don't look at it. I'm not sharing my secrets. You know, here we are. And then with the model of EXP after joining, it's a complete mindset shift right. of, I don't have to be that way. I, I want to help you. If I, if, if someone reaches out to me and say, Hey, I'm thinking about joining whatever I'm going to do the, everything I can to make you as successful as possible because in the, in the end it, it benefits me ultimately. Right. So it, it's, it's a different mind mindset shift of now we have a whole network of individuals. I got two referrals last week just because some by agents in, in this County that are with EXP because someone had posted regarding what an L, uh, law enforcement, uh, uh, agent or or somebody else that that was specific in this in this area it, it's now it's now more of of, of everyone's helping each other and it, it, it's a it's a weird thing to get used to but it's ultimately how it should be you know it's it, it it's it's a large network of, of individuals throughout the country throughout the world i think we're in like eight to ten different countries right now well, so not it's a larger network of people but they're they're all have a say so in ownership in the company and they want everyone to succeed if that makes sense and that's the the and you, and you hit it on it right there the reason why the collaboration is the way it is which is re i've never expected this when we moved the company over um is because we all own the company right. so when you own the company you treat it different when you own any, co any company you treat it differently and we all treat it like we're owners because obviously a lot of us have done really well over the last you know i mean the stock was six dollars and 51 cents a year ago right and you know so it went up what 20 times the um you know so you know we treat this company like it's our baby so it's kind of cool like you know especially like as a broker i'm getting to build a brokerage within a brokerage and that allows all of our agents so say an agent comes on and they want to build a team they don't actually leave me anymore they just build a team on these right and that, that was a big that was a big decision factor of mine because we we spoke a couple of years ago um, that I was going to open my own brokerage and right. I've talked to several brokers uh, regarding that and and all of them said the same thing don't do it right I mean it's 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 a lot of liability a lot of overhead a lot of a lot of uh, babysitting or whatever the whatever the the, the, the word is yep. that you can describe it for for not a lot of return and and, and several of them were unhappy or here it kind of you're right make a little oh, mini brokerage, my own team um, right. that I've started and, and, and building um, without all of the, the headache of the uh, oversight and, and liability and, you know, and, and, and the whole nine yards, right. um, but still receive all of that support when needed. So it, yeah. it, it makes sense. Yeah, it is amazing. Sorry. So we're going to finish up with this last question. So what would you say, where do you see yourself in five years? You know, I know with, with and I'm not just saying, picking up Remax, any brokerage, in five years, you're just as good as your last sale, like we said earlier, right? Where do you see yourself now in five years because of what EXP offers? Oh, it's a tough question. Um, on a golf course somewhere, hopefully, no. Uh, I honestly, more of a more of a leadership role, more of a mentor role, um, uh, helping new agents, helping people. Uh, come on, succeed, and kind of kind of earn the accolades that I've earned, or or or, or make it in this industry because the attrition rate in this industry is, is really high. Eighty-six percent. So, you know, there, there's a, there's a life. I feel like a lifetime of knowledge I, I've learned that I can help people grow and take a step back from selling real estate in general and just just help people grow. Um, 
their own business. That that would be, I think, where I would like to see myself in five years. Now, ten years, I'd like to be on the golf course. All right, there you go. Well, I'll I'll be the, I'll be there waiting for you to come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, this has been great. I, I really appreciate you coming on, Jason, and uh, sharing your story with everybody. Uh, if you are out there and you want to know more about EXP, reach out to Jason. He's he's phenomenal. He's uh, he's actually you know he's, he's not as serious as he looks. He's actually pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> and um, you know, so thanks for doing this with me. I love uh, I love talking about the success stories and we have so many of them. Yeah, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. All right, but we'll talk to you soon. Take care, everybody.